Ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you some guidelines, some tips to help you look taller and slimmer if you are petite. These work if you're petite, but they also work regardless of your height. So even if you're not petite, if you're taller and you still want to look even taller and slimmer, then these tips will help you also. Um, by no means do you have to use these tips. These are just guidelines. If you like the way you dress and you like the way you look, you certainly don't have to modify that or change that again. I'm just giving you some guidelines to help you if you do want to look taller and slimmer. So petite is in the US, it's 5'4 and under. I am 5'4, so I am technically petite, although I do not wear petite sizes in most things. Sometimes I buy petite jeans, sometimes I buy petite pants, but I really don't ever buy petite blazers or blouses. Sometimes I buy petite coats, so it just depends. But if you're 5'4 and under, you are technically considered petite. What you're going to see for these tips are befores and afters so that I can show you a contrast. But I will be the first person to tell you that I wear the befores all the time. Um, it's just if you want to look taller or create the illusion of height, then you go with the after. Just to qualify, there is nothing wrong with the before. I wear the befores. But if you want to look as long and tall as possible, then go with the afters. Okay, so let's dive in. First tip I want to share with you is probably the most obvious, and that's to wear heels. Obviously heels, two to five inches in some cases, are going to add a lot of height to your frame and elongate your body. They do that beautifully. If you can handle heels, wear them. They're so gorgeous and sexy and elongating and slimming and feminine and beautiful. Um, are they always the most comfortable? Absolutely not, but I for one happen to like wearing heels. So if you do like let's say a, a pant or a jean with a pointed toe heel, that pointed toe is going to elongate you again a little bit, a little bit more. If you wear dresses and skirts, a neutral colored heel or skin colored heel is going to make your legs look longer and again elongate your frame. So you just find a tone that matches your skin color. And then the darker colors, if you're wearing darker pants or jeans, are going to elongate the line. So pointed toe, heels, darker colors with dark pants and jeans, skin color with dresses and skirts. So that's the scoop with heels. The next tip is another one that's pretty commonly known, but it's one of those that's worth repeating and that's wearing all one color, one monochromatic look. It doesn't matter what color you're wearing. It doesn't have to be black. If you don't like black, I get that note so many times. <gasps> I don't like black. I don't look good in black. Then wear navy, wear red, wear white, but just make it all one color from head to toe and that is going to elongate the upper body and make you look longer, taller, slimmer. The next tip is to wear dark wash, high rise, flare jeans. <laughs> if you want to look really long and tall, these are key to your wardrobe. When you're looking at jeans, you want it to be a very dark wash. That means no fading, no whiskering, no distressing, no contrasting stitching, no bling on the butt. Nothing on the jeans, just really classic, really neutral, really plain. That is key. And then with the rise, you want a higher rise. High rise is traditionally around eight to 10 inches. I've seen some that are a little over 10, but 10 is super high. And then the other element is the flared silhouette. It doesn't have to be an exaggerated flare. It can be almost like a baby boot cut or um, even a straight leg pant or jean is going to keep you looking longer and taller. You could always throw that pointed toe heel underneath those pants and jeans to make it look even more streamlined and longer. Those are going to be the most elongating, most slimming pants and jeans for you to wear when you want to look taller. If you're petite and you want to look taller, those should be a staple in your wardrobe. And you can see the difference between the light jean and the dark jean. It's a dramatic difference. I love these jeans, these light jeans, and I wear them, but when I wanna look really long and lean, I'm going to wear those dark wash jeans. 
The next tip is to tuck in your shirt your sweater or your blouse. So let's say you're wearing those high rise, wide leg pants or jeans. When you tuck your top into the pants or the jeans, that creates a waist. It also makes your legs look a mile long, like mile long legs. You know, you may have um, longer legs than you do torso. It depends on what kind of petite you are, but in general, I think that it is a more flattering look to have longer legs and a shorter torso. Even if you have a really short torso, that's totally fine. There are tricks to elongate that torso, but what I'm saying is I think it's a great look to have legs that are a little bit longer and an upper body that's a little bit smaller proportionately. That is a really gorgeous, really flattering look to have those mile long legs. You may not be able to tuck in. Everybody's bodies are different and maybe you've got a lot going on around the tummy area and you just can't tuck. Don't worry about it. Just wear something out that maybe hits the hip bone. The next tip is to wear vertical stripes. You've heard this one over and over and over again, and that's because it's true. When you wear a vertical stripe versus a horizontal stripe, that will make you look longer, leaner, slimmer, taller. If you can do the, the pinstripe pant, dusting the floor, wide leg silhouette, high on the rise, even better. Next, I wanna talk about wearing long jackets or cardigans or a long shirt dress. When you wear almost a full length shirt dress or cardigan, that creates the illusion of length as well. And you can see here, I've compared a long olive green shirt dress over jeans and a top with a chunky knit cardigan. Now I love this cardigan, I just bought it, I think it's terrific, but if we're talking about looking as long and lean as possible, I definitely look longer and taller in that long shirt dress than I do in that chunky knit cardigan. So again, if that's your goal, you just wanna keep that in the back of your mind. Like maybe you wanna wear a duster blazer or a duster cardigan or a long shirt dress or a long trench, something that will, again, create that illusion of length. Next, I wanna address tailoring and fit. When you're petite in general, you're small in stature, you don't wanna go to a place of being oversized everywhere. Kinda of don't ever wanna do that regardless of your body type. I've talked about volume proportion before, but when you're petite, it's particularly poignant because uh, when you do go oversized all over, you tend to look like a kid or like you're wearing your mom's clothes or something like that. It just looks awkward. So. When you're petite, you wanna wear pieces that really do fit and flatter your body. Tailored pieces are gonna be much more flattering. You don't really ever wanna do oversized everywhere. Again, I talked about that volume proportion before, but you can see here, like I have this kind of beachy maxi dress on with a very baggy sweater over it. It's not a bad look. It's, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's not gonna make me look really long and tall. Whereas the tailored red sheath dress really does make me look much taller. The size of your handbag is important when you are a little bit on the shorter side, you don't wanna go for a bag that's ginormous. Now, do I have ginormous handbags? Absolutely. I'm showing you one right now. <laughs> I love my big bags, but they do kind of proportionately dwarf you if you're small already. So it's better to pick handbags that fit your size a little bit better, like maybe instead of the huge oversized toe like you see here, maybe you go for a smaller toe that's a little bit more proportionate to your stature. Another tip to help make you look taller and your legs to look longer is to wear shorter hemlines. And I know, especially as we get a little bit older, we don't necessarily want to wear really short things, 
but when you do cheat that hemline up a little bit, it will create the look that your legs are longer. So if you like your legs, they're in good shape, you don't mind showing them off, then do cheat up that hemline. You know, when you go longer, like you see here, I'm wearing this really long, like peachy pink dress. It definitely makes me look a little bit shorter than if I wear a dress that's a little bit shorter, you know, like mid thigh or longer, somewhere between above the knee and mid thigh is a good range. And if you're a little worried, like, oh, is this too short for me? You can always do that fingertip test where you hold your hands down by the side of your body, see where your fingertips end up. And you know, generally if it's in the vicinity of your fingertips, that hemline, you're doing okay. It's not like obscene, don't worry about it. Do we wanna wear super short? I saw a girl the other day here in Telluride, young girl, literally saw her butt cheeks hanging out, like full cheeks, full, saw them. <laughs> To which I then turned to my daughter and said, if you ever think you're ever gonna wear anything like that out of the house, you are out of your mind. She's six, so she's like, whatever. But anyway, we don't wanna go too short, but you get the point. Like when you do a shorter hemline, you cheat it up a little bit, it does make your legs look a lot longer. The last tip, which is kinda silly, but it works and I do it all the time, is to wear your hair up in a top knot. The top knot, look at mine, it's literally like three inches high. So it gives me the illusion of a, a few extra inches on my head. Not only is it like the most mom friendly, easy hairstyle, but it also adds height. And that is why I happen to love the top knot. <laughs> By the way, if you don't already know how to do a good top knot, I've actually done that in a video before. I'll put a link to that below in case you wanna check that out. I have done a petite video before too, and I can link that one below, but I feel like that video just wasn't very good. So I'm glad that I'm redoing it. Okay guys, let me know if you have any questions at all. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Of course, pop over to the website, buzzbystyle.com. Totally different content over there. I do also have a page with all of my YouTube videos. It's a beautiful interface. So if you were like, I just really wanna see what's what's been going on with Aaron and, and videos, you can pop over there and check it out on my website. I'll put a link to that video page below as well. I do have a question for you guys. I would really like to do virtual styling for different body types. And in order to do that, I, it's, it's, it's sort of an experiment, but if you are interested and you think you have a distinctive body type, which might be the triangle, the inverted triangle, the circle or apple, um, the rectangle or hourglass or plus size. If you're one of those and you want to do this with me, and you are technologically savvy, that means you could take your own mirror selfies and you can upload pictures and you can upload video, email me, erin at buzzbeatstyle.com. I would really love to tackle dressing different body types and finding models is impossible. So I'm hoping you guys can help. You know what I do, you know the scoop. Maybe one of you would be willing to do it remotely or we can work on it remotely, let me know. Again, email me, erin at busbystyle.com. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.